welcome back to our channel. I just want to say thank you for subscribing and thank you for checking out the houseplant tour part one and part two. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's check out this Monstera Deliciosa. Alright, so first things first, they love a lot of bright and direct light. I have this Monstera in an east-facing window where she gets plenty of morning light and some of that nice evening sun. And I only fertilize once a month. But I fertilize with worm castings, and when I water her, I use aquarium water with all the good fishy poop and stuff. So if you guys have aquariums, please, please use the water to water your plants. They will love it. I promise you. And it's kind of like giving them a little bit of fertilizer every time. Look at, oh, just look at the veins. And just, oh, I love them. I love you so much. So freaking pretty. They like to be in a uh, an air a super airy soil. Uh, I use cocoa core chips and perlite and charcoal, horticultural char charcoal. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? A little bit of potty mix, like it's just some espoma. I love espoma, by the way. If you guys don't know what a spoma is, I'm sure you can find it at either a big box store like Lowe's, Walmart, or Home Depot. I usually get my uh, espoma from a local nursery. But I will put a link. You can get it on Amazon also, but I can put a link in the bottom for you guys if you'd like. And she's been doing really good. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in the plant tour of the new leaves that came in. Look how pretty, like, oh, I just can't. And then here's this boy. I have always had a soft spot for Monstera Deliciosas. They're just so pretty. I don't know what, this might have just been like damaged from when I was unfurling. There's no critters on it, I checked. I check them every day because no one likes bugs. Nobody, not a single person I met loves bugs. And my plants don't love bugs. But these guys are commonly known to get spider mites, mealybugs, you know, the the creepy crawlies, the ugly fuzzy boys, the you know, fungus gnats, stuff like that. But I try to do a pest prevention with neem oil. And I wipe it down with a microfiber towel with a little bit of water once a week on top of the neem oil stuff because that is what's been working for me so and she's thriving I only water when she is 100% bone dry because they do not like to sit in soggy water soggy soil they do not like it that's how I killed my other one my first one, my first Monstera, she did not like to be overwatered, and we learned that real fast. Well, I guess if we're gonna be talking about that Monstera, I could show y'all and talk about my Monstera Adansonii. These guys also like a lot of bright indirect light. I water them when they're bone dry and he is thriving. Look at all the new growth up there. There's that guy, there's that guy right there, there's those guys. They also like a well drained soil mix, kind of similar to the Monstera Deliciosa.
So, how I killed my first Monstera is, I don't even want to talk about it, it's so sad. So I, I got her from a local, a local nursery, and she used to sit over there where that shelf is at, with her own little grow light, had her own spot, she was always vibing, never bothered anyone, you know, just, just chilling. Anywho, so I get her home, and I'm like, okay, she, they just watered her, she's a little heavy, but not only was she heavy as heck, she was overwatered. Yeah, very much so. And I kept telling myself I was gonna repot it, repot it, repot it. And you know, procrastination at its finest. Ended up killing my plant. And I was sad. I was very, very, very sad. But I tried to save her by chopping and propping. I tried to repot the nub that was left over. Everything started rooting and you know doing their things and then it's, it's like she didn't want to live anymore through through on her cuttings or The actual plant when I resurrected her and then I ended up sunburning the whole plant again on the, the deck So not only did she die one she died twice So I'm trying again, and this is my second one So high hopes for this one guys So you know how I said I only had one Monstera Deliciosa? Well, that was a lie because I uh, forgot about this little one down here. Over he's not, he, I got him when he was a tiny guy. He's, he's holding up pretty well. Hopefully he gives me some more new growth, but little guy Ooh, bumped into a plant my bad I can't believe I forgot about him and then down here I have my propagation box I got some Hoya Crimson Queen I got the Silvery Anne I got some Nanook, I have the Golden Poth, sorry, Philodendron. And then I have the Silver Exotica, Silver Satin Exoticas. I got two, two cuttings in here. And then I have a bunch of random, I, oh, I have a string of turtles down there. It's not gonna focus, sorry guys. Well, I tried. I'll probably Alright guys, as I'm on Stara Delicio, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe and I hope you hit that notification bell because I really want you guys to be the first ones to see the videos when they pop up. And on that note, you guys have a good one. Thank you. Bye. If it wants to do its thing. Hello. Alright guys, that was my Thai Constellation. Oh, no, 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 no. I have one of those. We don't have one of those. We want one of those, but we don't have one.